Alyssa's is there with some cold weather. Yes, yes, yes thanks. It's cold out. Yeah, in the 30s all of a sudden. Yes, right? it dropped off a lot. Some Big locations. Time. We have some 20s now. Oh, yeah. yeah, tonight. But we're going to recover a little bit throughout Thank the weekend. You. So that's the good news. We have a really nice weekend ahead. We're just going to bounce back into those mid 50s for Saturday and Sunday. We'll see some sunshine in the forecast, those mild conditions. And then we drop back off just in time for the holiday and into next weekend. Today, though, it really looked like a gorgeous day outside. And we started with those temperatures in the 60s this morning. So it felt like it was going to be a really nice nice day and then we saw those temperatures just plummet as we hit that cold front moving through and now we are seeing those temperatures in some locations in the upper 20s and low 30s. It's 39 right now at O'Hare Airport. Those winds fairly light out of the west northwest about three miles per hour. Some locations though look at this 29 right now in Deerfield. It's 30 in Wheeling, 31 in Sycamore and West Chicago. But closer to the city. We have this urban heat happening, urban heat island happening. So those temperatures near the city still in the 40s right now, 43 uh, downtown Chicago, 42 in Michigan City. Temperatures across the Midwest really impacted by this cold front that moved through. So we're in the 30s in Dubuque, uh, 28 in Madison, 29 up in Green Bay. Our 24 hour temperature change, we've dropped 30 degrees in just 24 hours in some locations, 30 below uh, uh, in Madison, 26 in Dubuque. We dropped 22 degrees in Chicago in just the last 24 hours. Again, that's all due to that cold front, which really swept through in the middle of the day. So we did see our high right around 60 today. Uh, so we were well below, well above average rather. Normally we're right around 48 this time of year, uh, but that happened early in the day. And then we saw those temperatures really fall off throughout the day. Did see plenty of sunshine though, 80% of our average sun today. So it was a gorgeous day with those clear skies. All of that came really after that front passed and really sweeped out some of our cloud coverage as that high pressure took control. All that cold air just in the wake of that system that brought us a few of those light showers Hours early this morning. Right now our winds fairly light out of the north. We're going to see those shift and become a little bit more west southwesterly tomorrow, which will help pump in some of that warmer air tomorrow and also clear out a lot of that cloud coverage. High pressure really taking control right now. It's going to stay that way today into tomorrow and into Sunday. That high pressure will keep things clear, quiet and calm this weekend, bringing us plenty of uh, pleasant conditions. Really, uh, we're going to see those highs back into the 50s tomorrow, and then we are going to see plenty of sunshine. Really not a cloud in the sky expected tomorrow, so some really strong high pressure in control over the next 48 hours or so. Temperatures over the weekend really going to spike above average 54 on Saturday, 55 on Sunday. But look at this. We drop below average as we head into later in the week. That's when we have that cold front that's going to sweep through and bring us that potential of some showers into the forecast. That's going to happen late on Monday. So here's what I'm talking about. Here's our future outlook. We have that high pressure in control right now, but then we have this system that's just lining up uh, just to the southwest of us that will start to sweep through late Monday and into Tuesday. That will bring us a small chance of some showers late Monday and into early Tuesday. It's starting to look like that will trend a little further to the southwest of us, but can't rule out maybe less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall, and we really do need it. Uh, we'll continue to see that system track out of the area Tuesday, and we could see some flurries mixed in with that late Tuesday night as it tracks out, and that colder air moves in behind it, leaving us some really cool temperatures in its wake. November 5th driest on record so far, so we really could use some of that rainfall, not expecting much though as that system tracks through. We're also seeing uh, quite, a quite a bit less snow on the ground than typical this time of year uh, in the lower 48. We're 10% uh, last year's total, so 4% of snow coverage right now. Last year we had 40% of our snow coverage at this time, so really, really different. And that's also impacting our temperatures. We've seen this warmer and above average uh, November, and that's partially because we're not seeing a lot of that snow on the ground, which would typically bring us some of those colder temperatures as well. Staying below normal for the next six to 10 days while the West Coast is above normal and really looking at our eight to 14 outlook, staying below normal then as well. Temperatures tonight will be into the low 30s. As you saw, we are already seeing some locations uh, in our suburb spots into the upper 20s. Mostly clear skies tonight, cold and those winds will continue to diminish. Tomorrow, temperatures into the mid 50s, plenty of sunshine, a little bit breezy and mild, staying mild on Sunday.
Sunday, that's when we'll be into those mid 50s as well. And then we start to see those changes back in the forecast Monday. That's when we have that potential of maybe some showers in the afternoon, looking like a lot of that would impact the southwest counties and would be very, very light if we do see that at all temperatures on Monday into the upper 40s, mid 40s on Tuesday, windy conditions as that system rolls through and then behind it, much colder air in the forecast. Just in time for the holiday, we are going to see those highs into the mid 30s. So Thanksgiving is going to be a chilly one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least we'll get a little sunshine. A little sunshine okay. this weekend. All right. Thank you.